Adrian, it was a political speech and it was very well received. Like all speakers at this event, Pierre Polyev paid homage to the resilience of the Jewish people and to the lives lost in the October 7th attacks. But he also put some of the blame of the surge in anti-Semitism back on the prime minister, blaming lax border policies, bad appointments and funding for programs he says support terrorists. He says the Trudeau government supports an ugly ideology that divides people, while at the same time saying what he would do if he was in office. I will vote against anti-Israel resolutions at the United Nations. I will back Israel's right to defend itself, which includes retaliating against those that attack Israel. This was in sharp contrast to the Prime Minister's speech, which focused on the atrocities of last year's attacks and supporting Canada's Jewish population during a surge of anti-Semitism. And Kate, this on a day where the anniversary had already featured in question period. Yes, Polyev used his time in question period to call on Canada's foreign affairs minister, Melanie Jolie, to condemn what he called anti-Semitic hate slogans. Jolie did not do that, saying that the October 7th attacks should not be politicized and saying she stands against anti-Semitism. After question period, she accused him of playing petty politics on the backs of victims, saying he's unfit to become prime minister. All right, Kate McKenna in Ottawa.